They always say that you can go to the reservation and get away with murder, and I do believe that's true. It was a husband and a wife that killed my sister. I was asking around, have you seen Hannah? Have you seen Hannah? We were supposed to go explore the world together, but instead I'm exploring the woods for my sister. And then there was stories about human trafficking, that they sold my daughter. My child was murdered, chopped up, put in a suitcase. There is a Ashley on every reservation. The cops told me she's probably out having fun, drinking, scared to come back home. It was like we were pretty much doing what the investigators should have been doing. We'd have a different reac reaction if this was non-native. I'm just telling you, it'd be a different reaction. But I want to make it clear to you, we, in fact, have to change our attitude, the country's attitude toward tribal nations. What comes with the oil? A man camp. What comes with the man camp? Human trafficking. Do I believe that there's a connection between the rape of the earth and the rape of women? Oh, you better believe I do. This is a worldwide crisis. This isn't just North America. Women and, and girls are victims all over the world. MS-13 is the gang that um, our tribal law and order has talked about. Hispanic gangs, Sereños, and even Mexican Mafia uh, most definitely are operating involved in drug activity in Missoula and on the Flathead Indian Reservation. I first met with the BIA. I met with him once, and then he said he couldn't help because he was going to a trip to Vegas and not to call him. We need to demand an immediate investigation into why the law enforcement has failed. And what are they thinking? That I'm not going to say anything? That I'm going to let them get away with it? No!